we have discussed the primary methods for adding weights and ways of manipulating and modifying these weights. There is, however, another way of applying weights. This method will bind geometry to a single joint and it allows us to bind packed geometry. This can be useful for binding points of the character that do not usually deform, such as the eyes and the teeth. This can also be useful for jewellery and armour. This scene is very basic. We have a box which will serve as our geometry. Our rig is created with a line. The joint names and the transforms are being created with a rig doctor node. We have a rig pose node for animation. We're then deforming the rig with a bone deform node. This rig does not currently work as there is no bone capture attribute on our geometry. This method uses pack geometry, so I'll need to convert this using a pack node. This however will still not be sufficient as the mesh will require a name attribute. The name attribute should apply to the entire mesh. Adding a primitive name attribute to a mesh is usually a good idea in any case as we'll need this for exporting. I'll get a name node and I'll connect this prior to the pack geometry. I'll call this box and I'll use an asterisk to specify that it applies to everything. In the pack node I will activate the name attribute. As this attribute is currently called name I will not have to change anything. We can also choose to transfer attributes here as well. We can now attach the geometry to the rig. To do this we'll use a KineFX node called Capture Pack Geometry. This node will give us a lot of errors when it is not connected. The first input will be connected to my pack geometry. The second input will be connected to my rig. In this video I will only be working with manual operations, so I will not explore any of the other parameters. I will add one manual capture as we only have one piece of geometry, in this case the box. The first option here will allow me to select the mesh. The second will allow me to select the point that we want to bind to. The rig can now also be manipulated as the pack geometry is now weighted to the rig. This method will allow us to connect any pack geometry to the rig. As stated earlier, this can be very useful for weighting the teeth and the eyes. Very often we'll want the original geometry back. To do this we'll use an unpack node. We'll then need to transfer the bone capture. We could also transfer the name and the colour. And that will give us entirely rigid weighted geometry. So once again, first we'll add a name. We'll then pack the geometry. Next we'll use the capture pack geometry node. We'll specify our geometry and bones in this node. We can then unpack this and transfer the attributes that we need. If we want to exclude attributes from the transfer, it is best to use an asterisk to specify everything and then use a caret symbol prior to the attributes that we want to exclude. This node does not work well when we try and exclude using an exclamation mark. So that is how we'll weight packed geometry.